welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Today for Scent Sunday, we're gonna be talking all about the fig fragrances in my collection. I love fig. It's one of my favorite scent notes and I feel like I have a decent amount of fig in my collection, uh, but fig can be pretty different. I feel like it works for summer and spring scents. It works for fall and winter scents because it can go from being something that's like woody and green and fresh. And then on that spectrum, it can carry all the way into something sweet and syrupy and heavy and kind of dense and sticky. It kind of just depends. And so I I love fig. Not everyone does. I mean, there are people in the middle. I feel like Sam, my husband, he's kind of in the middle. He doesn't like a lot of these scents, <laughs> but there are some fig scents that he does enjoy for like the greenness. So I've noticed a connection though that people who like fig tend to like coconut. And sometimes those scents can kind of act similar to each other in fragrances. Anyway, I have what I feel like are the most prominent fig notes. There might be a few other fig like perfumes in my collection, but I wanted to keep the perfumes I picked out to ones that I actually have bottles of. So I'll leave some like recommendations at the end for things that are like on my wish list or I know are fig heavy in case you wanna try those out. But I really wanted it to be like the main focus or the thing that I feel like I can smell in the perfume, even if it's not the main thing. So it's a range. I hope you guys enjoy if you're a fig lover out there, maybe these are some perfumes you could start at and try that kind of run the gamut, I think anyway. So let's start off, We, I mean, should we just start off with the main fig fragrance, I think, out there? This is Diptyque's Philosicos. I have the EDT version. Um, you can get an EDP of this as well. I don't know what that smells like, actually, um, if it's like actually heavier or just longer lasting or whatnot, but I think the EDT is great. This is the epitome of a beautiful, fresh, fig scent. It is green, it is bright, it's woody and slightly sweet, slightly, slightly sweet. This has kind of everything in it from the leaves to the bark to the actual fig fruit. Like it's the entirety of it blended up into a blender. Definitely very green smelling to me. Um, and I really love this one, especially if you don't want anything too heavy. You like that kind of light, airy quality to a fragrance. This is beautiful. Almost a dirty, like a dirt as in like dry dirt smell to it. This reminds me of like fig on a spring day and it's absolutely beautiful. The only notes credited in this are fig in the top, fig leaf in the mid and fig tree in the base. Like I said, the full, the full things in here. I think that if you really wanna know if you like a fig scent or might like a fig scent, this is great. I do almost get something kind of creamy as well with this, but it's very light still. Love this. I'm gonna try to keep my fragrance reviews on them quite short because what else is there to say? I mean, it's just thick. Like it's just a beautiful green, fresh, slightly lactonic, slightly creamy fig scent. And that's what you're getting. Okay, it's so good. Definitely a good one. If you wanna know if you like fig, try that. Try that and then go from there. I wanna mention as kind of a, a just in case you have this or I don't know if you're gonna be able to get your hands on it, but this is from Malin and Getz. It's Moroccan fig. And I find this extremely similar to Philosico. So this is discontinued. Don't be too sad that you can't get it because I do find that the Philosicos is very similar to it. I think maybe this one's not as sweet. Maybe it's a little bit drier, a little bit woodier, but it's very, very similar. Definitely the same type of fig going on. And I feel like you would be totally fine, to me at least, with the Philosicos. This has notes of green leaves, green pepper, bergamot in the top, fig leaf, fig in the mid, and then fig tree, coconut, musk, and cedar in the base. It's a beautiful one too. I just have to shout it out. This is one that I actually uh, sampled from Scentbird like years and years ago. And so when I got back into perfume, I was like, I wanna get Moroccan Fig. Found out it was discontinued and kind of like stayed on the hunt for it. And I am glad to have a bottle of it in my collection, not gonna lie, but you definitely don't don't need it if you have Philosco, so they are that similar to me. I'm not ranking these by any means. I have things that I love about all of these. I think I love all of them in some way. Some things I have more problems with than others. And you'll see that as we go along, I'll describe those, but probably my favorite I think this might be my favorite fig scent in my collection at the moment. This is Te Matcha 26 from Le Labo. This was a love at first sniff smell for me. So um, I wanted to smell this because it came out last fall, I believe. The moment I smelled this, I was like, this has fig in it. She was like, yeah, you're pretty good. I was like, Mmm, this is so good. I love this version of a fig. It is creamier. It's powdery, it's a little bit richer and warm. There's something, I like to call these types of fragrance velvety. I don't know how to 
explain that, but that's just kind of the way the powder kind of buzzes in a way with the warmth that I just think of velvet when I smell this. Sam does not like this fragrance. <laughs> Sam does not like this, but I love it. I don't care. <laughs> I wear it. I find that this actually lasts a really long time as well. It is a skin scent. They've made it to be a skin scent, but man, it stays in your bubble. Like you will smell this on you. It's just a warm, comforting hug of fig without it being too sweet and syrupy, without it being too heavy, but it still has a bit of density to it. This has notes of fig, vetiver, bitter orange, matcha tea, and cedar. I feel like you get the creaminess of the matcha tea as well. Um, I do smell the vetiver, so I think you would have to like vetiver to like this fragrance because there is this kind of like dry woodiness happening. It's just so beautiful. I think this is totally and completely unisex as well. It doesn't pull any one way. It's just a beautiful scent. I love this. I'm obsessed with it. I think you could wear that year round too. Like it could be something that is more of a signature scent than something that has to be worn only in the summer or only in the fall. I guess if I had to pick a time that's best, would best suit it, I think I would probably go with like fall, going into fall, that type of stuff. But I think it's absolutely beautiful. So, so good. One of those ones that kind of is going to stay in your hair too. And like, you know, as you move around, get whiffs of it. This would be probably my number one recommendation out of all the fig scents that I have to try. Like this, I feel like is, yeah, my favorite. If you're looking for a sweeter kind of creamier fig, I think a great option for that is Sweet Vanilla Fig from Philosophy. This is a beautiful vanilla fig fragrance. This is so good. Definitely by far the sweetest of everything that we have here. The Tame Matcha one is not very sweet at all. This has that beautiful vanilla in it, but it's again, fig. And I feel like the fig in it is green, but then the vanilla is nice and sweet. And so it's still refreshing without being too sickly, sweet, syrupy, dense uh, of, a, of a fig fragrance. Beautiful. This is kind of hard to get. I picked this up on QVC. It came with a huge thing of the shower wash as well. Um, and then this is the four ounce bottle for like 50 something dollars. So if I can find that, if they're still doing that I'll leave it linked down below but this is a perfect like to me cuddle up at home watching a movie type of vanilla fig scent I could wear it out for sure as well but I think like that's where this goes to me it's my like sweet creamy gourmand fig scent <laughs> that I really love I feel like this is quite a simple scent in that like really you're getting the two things in here but again I really like the kind of contrast of the sweet vanilla with a more green fig I feel like it adds balance to what is quite a simple fragrance and doesn't make it again too sweet it could almost become like I kind of say a lot um, it could almost become a cookie that has no salt on it you know where it's like just so much sweetness and nothing to contrast that and I find that they've done the done the salt portion in this and I think it's done really well there's no actual salt I'm just saying when we're talking about balance okay I do highly recommend it if you think you'd want something more vanilla um, if you like more of those gourmands and vanillas you would I think you'd like this I think probably the most figgy fragrance that's more complex besides just fig but has very heavy fig in it I'm gonna say fig so many times in this video is yesterday haze from imaginary authors this has fig iris cream tonka tree bark walnut bitters and orchard dust in it those are the notes the orchard dust is kind of the imaginary note it is a lot heavier on I feel like the woods and that dusty orchard um, definitely getting some of that dirt getting something kind of powdery the fig is definitely there but it's more complex than some Something like the diptyque. It's not as green as well. I would say it's more woody than it is green. It's interesting because I really loved this. Like the moment I smelled this, I loved it. If you like fig, I think you're gonna love this. But the last time I wore this on my skin, it, it went really odd. I wore this, loved it, loved it. All of a sudden, it turned very kind of acidic or like vinegary on me. Like that's what I'm like, my gosh, I smell like I smell like vinegar. Uh, what the fuck? And then it stopped doing that. <laughs> like a little bit later, it was back to being normal. So I don't know what that was about. Very odd. I need to put this to the test a little bit more because I don't know why that happened. But if you were interested in trying something out from Imaginary Authors, this is a really great one. Again, with a fig scent and I think it's done really nicely. I love something that's like has 
those woody notes in it. Next, I'm gonna talk about the illicit green from YSL, the black opium. This is said to have like, the fig note is like what makes it different than regular black opium. And I have to say, this is black opium, okay? It is just bl straight up black opium. White florals, coffee, sweet. It's good. I like black opium actually, but this isn't super fig heavy. It's really not. I do think this is a fruitier version than YSL black opium. The sweetness of it's coming from a bit of fruit, but I don't get anything overly figgy from it. So just, I don't know. I wanted to put it out there because I feel like this is a more recent one where, that was like making fig a note and trying to be all about the fig and don't get sucked into this. This is not fig. Sorry. It's not. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess, why did I put it in the fig video? But I felt like I had to, I guess I'll mention here another one. This doesn't have really fig. Like if you're looking for a prominent fig note, this is not it. This is not it. Sunfruit from Ellis Brooklyn. This is tropical. To me, this is like tangy or like sharp. I maybe get a little fig on the dry down, but again, I feel like it's more coconutty or creamy uh, in general. I wouldn't necessarily put it on a fig. So those two say they have fig. I don't think you're getting like the full fig experience from those, so maybe maybe don't pick those up if you're only intrigued by the fig notes. Just little intermission and warning there <laughs> for you in case you needed it. Okay, let's talk about a fig fragrance I picked up early on in getting perfumes. This one, if you'd like type in like fig fragrances, this one comes up from Lancome. This is Figs and Agrooms. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you say it. I just have a one ounce bottle here and this is Fig and White Floral. It's complicated. <laughs> part of me loves this. The fig part of this fragrance is absolutely beautiful and everything I love in a fig fragrance. Sweet, creamy, kind of woody, like just a dream, a dream of fig. But then there's the screechy white florals and I'm like, why? <laughs> why did you have to do it? This almost smells like a fig sunscreen to me. Like it's kind of beachy. I could see this totally working that way. I'm gonna read the notes off. This has citruses and sorbet in the top, jasmine in the mid, and then it has a base note of fig. Again, that fig is so good in here. And I do find on the dry down, I get a lot of the fig, but I also get a lot of that jasmine. And I, I don't, <sighs> Sometimes I like jasmine, but it is just prominent. It's not just in there hanging out. I feel like if that were the case and maybe some woods in here or something, I'd really like it. But the jasmine's very prominent. And so you're definitely gonna need to like jasmine, but there's something about it. I go back to smell it. So like, even though it has something that I would say I don't like about it, I also do like it. I also do like it and I get it. So I think if you like white florals, if you like jasmine and you like fig, you're gonna love this. And I also think it's going to be a beast of a fragrance. Like this is gonna last a very very long time on your skin. It has kind of that powdery thing going on. It's a very comforting figgy scent, I think. And I love that it's not tangy. It really dries down beautiful. It can, uh, maybe a little dated or mature, but I like it. I like it. The fig saves it. If it didn't have that, I wouldn't love it, but I don't know. Not the perfect fig fragrance for me. I just want to extract the way the fig smells in this and like take away, just tone down some of the jasmine, like just Okay, calm down girl. But um, otherwise, very good. And I think if you're someone who is fine with that, then you might really like this. I don't think it's discontinued. I don't think so. But I mean, against my better judgment, I still wanna say it's good, even though I have my issues with it. <laughs> it's one of those ones that I could see myself in a couple of years being like, I love it. You know, um, I'm just like, I can tell like, on the verge, on the verge of changing some of my taste because I'm starting to like white florals in a way that I thought would be. Never me, never me, <laughs> but it's happening. I don't know what's going on. This is more a nostalgic fragrance for me. This is from Comptour Sud Pacifique and it is Coco Fig. If you are a coconut and a fig lover, this is the epitome of that. I smelled this initially when I worked at a store that sold this brand and we had samples and I smelled this and immediately was in love. I was like, holy shit, that's everything I could ever drink of this is that creamy lactonic fig this is though which what this is what they do this brand this is a cookie without salt okay so this is just sweet lactonic there's no base it feels like there's just you know you're just swimming in the the figgy milk the figgy coconut milk okay in this one i think it's definitely tropical it is like the 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 milk you put into a pina colada, okay? But fig also. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong. There is like a woodiness in the base, but it's just so light and still kind of vanillic and not as grounded as I would like. Let, let, let's put a little like spice in there, a little cardamom and then like a deeper wood or like an amber even. I would have loved that. Let's see what the actual notes are. Maybe all those notes are in here and I just don't feel like they come across that way. No, they're not. <laughs> 
honestly, stay away from this fragrance if you don't like coconut. This is the notes. Coconut, fig, and vanilla flower in the top. Coconut, milk, wheat, and sugar in the mid. And then coconut, milk, fig, leaf, and vanilla in the base. So that's what you're getting. It's very lactonic. It's interesting that it says there's a wheat note. Like when I hear that, I'm like, oh, I can maybe see that there's something like breadish about it. Like, I don't know. It's interesting. I feel like I went from loving this when I was younger or like nostalgic, I definitely wanted this in my collection from what I remembered. Then having it, I'm like, oh, I don't know about that. But I think it has its moments, like a beach day, something like that, I think it'd be nice. And I think it's one that maybe later in life I'll come back to and love more than I do now. But definitely that sweet, milky kind of fragrance. So yeah, that one is Coco Fig. I'm thinking about it right now. These might be a good combo if you wanted to like bring out the fig and the coconut in here, you wanted it more lactonic because this does have that tang. There's like a pear note, just more tangy like that. These two together, I feel like it could bring it down. This is also kind of the like very milky <laughs> fragrance. I think if you don't want it too milky, um, and more balanced, I'd go with this one. It's sweet like that though, and it has that vanilla. But this to me is like way more balanced than this one. If you're wanting a sexy fig fragrance, something that I think has a little more weight to it, still has a prominent note of fig, but has some spice, has some depth, I think BDK Gris Charnel is beautiful, and I think you'd really like it. I think this can just be a signature scent. This reminds me kind of of Te Matcha, but more spicy, less spicy severely fig and less, I guess, creamy. I don't get as much lactonic from this. I almost get more powdery and also almost waxy because there's like an iris note in this and I definitely in the dry down on my skin, it's kind of coming off a little waxy and figgy. It's almost like fig cosmetics or something like in the way that it smells to me on on me um, along with like some woody notes. This has a beautiful spice to it that I love. This has black tea in it. So there's like this beautiful warmth. Another one that I think just is beautiful like close up on the skin. If you like something like a uh, Tay Noir from Le Labo, I feel like these are just kind of like similar. I think this is just so sexy. To me, this is like a nighttime fragrance or to me, a fall fragrance. You could wear it any time, I do think, but just where I want to wear it personally. The sweetness on this is definitely a little bit deeper, a little bit sweeter, a little bit denser, I feel like, than the other ways that fig is used. This has cardamom fig and black tea in the top, iris and bourbon vetiver in the mids, and then sandalwood and tonka bean in the base. I feel like the juice kind of gives away the vibe of this fragrance, where you know, it's like kind of dark and mysterious, but not like, not super heavy. It just has like that nice amount of weight to it. It's like a pocket watch with nice weight. So, so good. This was gifted to me from Twisted Lily. You can get this at Twisted Lily, um, but it's been on my perfume wish list for a very long time. Of course, you can use my code on Twisted Lily to save 10% if you want, if there's anything that you're shopping around for. I'll leave anything that you can buy or test from there down below. No pressure, obviously. Um, I definitely think with any of these expensive perfumes or niche perfumes, definitely try to get your nose on it. Make sure it's something you like. You know, you don't want a whole bottle of perfume <laughs> that maybe isn't your favorite, if you can help it, right? Um, okay, the last two that I have to talk about that I have bottles of are more musky figs. Um, I feel like these are more skin scents, a little bit cleaner maybe with some sweetness. Anyway, this one is Ariana Grande's REM, or R-E-M. I think you say it R-E-M, because it's like Ari. One of you guys told me that, that you pronounce it R-E-M because her name is Ariana, not Ariana, it's Ariana Grande. I'm sorry, you guys. This is a really nice one. Okay, so if all these other ones are like, okay, woody, no thank you, or like a little bit spicy, not really your thing, you want something soft and sweet, just, chill. This is the one you want to try out. So this has zephyr. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it looks like a beautiful little candy. Caramel, salt, fig, quince in the top, lavender and pear blossom in the mid, musk, tonka bean, and sandalwood in the base. Beautiful. Kind of feels like this figgy cloud. I love the way the salt plays in here. I usually don't like a salt note or can be kind of wary of a salt note because sometimes it's a little sour or too beachy smelling for what I'm wanting. But the way the salt is in here is beautiful. It's very similar to how the skin scent from Clean Reserve has the salt too and the sweetness. It does it in the same way. They're not the same scent, but they're very similar. If you like that, you'd probably like this. The fig in here is soft and powdery and sweet without being dense and syrupy. The musk is beautiful. Again, the salt kind of uplifts it as well. I find with lavender that kind of aromatic is coming through, but I find lavender to be a little powdery as well. If you were looking for a lavender scent, um, I think this one good. Again, it is sweet, 
but it's soft. It's not um, cloying to me. It's kind of this cloud of sweetness, but the cloud is kind of wispy and you can kind of see through it still. Like, you know, it's just making stuff a little hazy as opposed to being like a really dense white fluffy cloud. I like that one. This one's in my top. I think it's my second favorite after cloud. Pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> Last one is similar to uh, that one in composition in, in the sense that it's like musky. And this is Jo Malone's Scarlet Poppy. This one though comes a, off a little more waxy, a little more powdery, a little more makeup-y than that one. Mmm, this is just like, I feel a little bit more maybe mature than the Ariana Grande one. This has a barley note in it and you can smell the barley. There's something about it. I don't wanna say it's hoppy, it's not, uh, but I don't know, once you know that you can smell it, but this has more of a makeup scent, not nearly as sweet, very musky, kind of powdery, uh, a skin scent. I could see someone thinking this smells like wipes. <laughs> like some type of white, but I think it's so beautiful. And I, I can smell the fig in here. There's a poppy note as well. Let me read you the notes. This has ambrette or musk mallow in the top. It has notes of orris, fig, and poppy in the mid. And then it has tonka bean, heliotrope, and barley in the base. You know, there's also something kind of almondy, kind of powdery like that in here. Um, I, I think it's just really beautiful, really soft. It's interesting that vanilla is like in the top accords that are put on this because I can smell that, but there's no vanilla in here. I think it's more like sweet, almond, creamy powderiness. Like it's it's very nice. I do pick up on that barley note, which I just find is interesting and a little bit different. I get something kind of nutty from this even. Um, so yeah, it's just an interesting scent. I actually really quite like it. It's a perfect one for every day. This is like one of those musky ones with a little bit more uh, creamy powderiness around it. Again, kind of more opaque, but not nearly as sweet as some other ones. It's beautiful. I think it's a beautiful little scent. And I do think the fig is adding that sweetness. It's very light. It's not super strong fig, but I do think it's enough that I can tell that it's in there. Because when I went and smelled it at Sephora, I sprayed it and was like, I like this. And I was like, I wonder if there's fig in it. I feel like there's fig in this. And there was. So I feel like I can smell the fig in that. So those are all the perfumes that I have in my collection that I think are super fig heavy. Again, <sighs> My standouts, the standouts to smell, Te Matcha, just, oh, so good. One of my favorites. One of my favorite ones that isn't only fig, like it's not just like, and fig. It's more complex, beautiful. Um, it's similar to BDK in some ways. So these kind of live in the same world. I think they're different enough to own both, obviously. This one's more spicy, ooh. Ah, but they're beautiful and they're all unisex. I think all the fig scents I'm talking about here are unisex. So mm, this one's so good. If you want the sweet vanilla fig, this is high up there for me. I also have to say, if you just want that green fig, Philosicos is the way to go for sure. Those are probably my favorite ones. I mean, I love Scarlet Poppy as well. And I like the REM smell, but those like kind of branch off a little bit more where there's fig in it and you can smell the fig in it, but there's a lot of other things at play. Whereas those other ones that I just mentioned are way more fig heavy and fig forward. So I thought I would leave you with a list of some other things to maybe try out. If you've tried some of these and you aren't, you're like, girl, I know, <laughs> I know those already. Maybe try these ones out. Or you might be like, uh, why don't you have these in your collection? I know about them. <laughs> They're either on my list or I'll tell you what I think about them really fast. So some other fig fragrances to maybe check out. There's Dias and Durga's Debaser. This is one that's, uh, I'm on the fence on. It's a little bit of a challenging fragrance to me. There's parts of me that really love it. The fig in there to me, is very green, but still very milky. So it, it's it's green and it reminds me of like fresh cut grass and kind of like a foresty scent, but it also is sweet. I think a little bit sweet, but still refreshing, but definitely something quite milky to me about that one. So I don't know, it's at the end of that scent that I don't love it. it uh, I don't know how to explain it. There's some scents that have almost this creaminess to them in a way that I dislike and it does that at the end and I don't like it. So I like parts of it, I don't like other parts of it, so I just haven't done it yet. I think at some point it'll probably be my collection, but not over other things right now. I smelled yesterday Essential Parfums Fig Infusion. This is another really great green, fresh fig scent. Sam really loved this one, and I think if you're into like a diptyque type scent, maybe you want something a little bit more fresh. I feel like it almost has a citrus or something going on with it as well. That one's really great and an amazing price too. I think it's like a $78 bottle for I think like 100 mils. They do more affordable stuff, but still really high quality, and I think that's a great great option if this one's gonna be a little too expensive for you or you're into that like green 
fresh fig um, anyone it's kind of light and airy check that one out I thought it was pretty good I kind of already mentioned this but Leilabo's Te Noir 29 really love that one it's like a black tea fig bay leaf I think is in there type of scent I think there might be vetiver in there as well like there's like a hay note there's like tobacco so it's a little bit richer beautiful scent that one's on my list to get I will have that in my collection at some point just haven't quite done it perfect one for fall or your everyday signature scent if that's your vibe and I do think that the fig comes out there especially on me I feel like I can really smell the fig on on me whereas I have a friend who that's her signature scent and I don't smell as much of the fig on her so um, I think different people have different parts of that one come out but it's a good one to try if you want fig in it but other things going on and then the last two are both from Wilhelm Parfumery there's purple fig and then they also have Basilico and Fellini I think is what it is so for purple fig I find that one to be like a dirt fig it's dirty it's dry it's kind of peppery from what I can remember again I smelled it yesterday that one's definitely more like that it's like strong it's kind of cologne in a way it's interesting definitely not too sweet um, it's more of like that to me a dirty dirt fig with wood with spice cologne but still kind of heavy um, there's something dusty almost about it that's how I read that one and then for the Basilico and Fellini scent that one's a bit more fresh it reminds me again more on the side of Philosicos so yeah it's like more fresh it doesn't have the dustiness in the same way or like the spice I guess the spice is what makes purple fig kind of like heavy a little intimidating honestly um, whereas I felt like you got a little more of the green sweet fig not too sweet but still kind of fresh anyway check those out if you want to try some other fig scents i hope you guys enjoyed hearing about fig fragrances as much as i do i know it's not a note everyone likes or like an accord everyone loves but i tend to really like it and i get excited when anything's coming out with fig in it because I think it smells so so good and can work for so many different occasions let me know your favorite fig fragrance down below especially if I didn't mention it let me know it so I can check it out and other than that I will see you in the next video bye guys